the end of the Revolutionary War has kind of an intriguing story to it. Um, the the British people, the British forces were actually doing well and kind of pounding on the American forces. The support for the war was starting to go down. It was taking a long time. Uh, the money was becoming worthless. Um, there wasn't money to pay the troops. They were having a hard time keeping the troops there. Uh, the the Americans were really not into a too good of a position. Well, what happens? Well, some big mistakes by the British that really helped the Americans kind of settle up the war. Um, they had the British forces um, were moving all over, but uh, there there actually ended up being signed kind of some confusing orders that caused Cornwallis to retreat and pull back his forces to Yorktown and kind of build a good strong defense there. They thought if they could build a good strong defense in Yorktown, that would really help solidify the British presence there and the Americans wouldn't be able to attack. Well, what happened and what they didn't realize too well was that when they came to Yorktown, the Americans were able to surround them. Not only that, but the French and the Spanish naval forces were able to come in around the back and siege their stronghold from the back. And uh, the French and Spanish forces together were stronger than the British forces. So they were able to come up um, as they kind of pulled back and tried to pull a stronghold in Yorktown. The naval forces were able to come in and take over the British naval forces and control Chesapeake Bay. Well, when that happened, then Cornwallis was cut off from supplies. He was basically surrounded. Um, he couldn't get any supplies in from the bay and all the people were gathered round about and so this kind of caused him to panic and he actually pulled his people in tighter. Um, uh, he left some of the defenses free and pulled his people in tighter and so the Americans were able to push forward, push forward. And he saw this siege coming even though he had more land troops and really should have had more power, he made this tactical error that kind of got him stuck. Um, so he ended up surrendering um, to George Washington when George Washington came in um, to surround him and they were starting to push forward and he was getting squeezed and he couldn't get any more supplies. Uh, he ended up in 1781 surrendering to, uh, to George Washington and that effectively ended the Revolutionary War when Cornwallis finally surrendered his troops. Um, now the Treaty of Paris, which we'll talk about, didn't come for a little while later, uh, but this ended the war, this kind of tactical error that got the British people trapped. Um, let Washington come in and take over. He got Cornwallis to surrender, and that's how the fighting of the Revolutionary War ended.